Okay, so we're working on a 2013 Wrangler. This has a 3.6 liter Pentastar engine in it. And uh, it's four door, unlimited Sahara. The ABS and traction control lights are on. So I'm doing a scan on it right now. I've, I've already diagnosed the problem and I'm gonna give you a little run through on uh, how to diagnose it quick uh, and sort of what to check. So these are the two main faults that are in here. We got implausible left rear wheel speed signal received, which is an active fault code and left rear wheel speed sensor circuit. So the first thing I would do is to just use a scan tool and graph the wheel speed sensors. If you don't have access to a scan tool, you can use a multimeter. It's a bit in depth, I won't get into it. Um, so we know it's coming from the left rear wheel speed sensor or could be the tone ring. So we're just gonna go back and take a look. Show you what I found. The first and easiest thing that I did was unplug the wheel speed sensor. There's a connector back here. So there's a red lock that you'll slide back. Um, it's better if you clean these. Sometimes they get filled with dirt and they're a pain to get off. But once you get the connector off, you can use a multimeter to check the resistance of the sensor. In this case, the sensor that was in it, which is in the back, <coughs> Um, it was open circuit, so the coil that was inside of it was broken and had no resistance whatsoever. It, it was open on the meter, so I knew it was a bad sensor. Um, like I say, you can, you can do a check on the wiring. This is a simple circuit with uh, just a positive and a negative that goes right to the ABS module. But uh, um, So yeah, basically just check the back of the ABS sensor to find that it was just open circuit inside. Um, I'll go show you on the bench just quickly. This one was actually really, really rusted in the, in the back uh, plate there that it slides into. I uh, had a good time getting that out, but we did manage to get that out. This is the new one here um, with the part number there for this vehicle. And I'll just quickly show you what the meter what you should expect for a resistance value. Put that backwards. It's a new one. 3.8. Yeah. Yep, that's just on the auto scale. So just in case you guys wanted to uh, check yourself, to so check yours and see if it compares to a new one. Check that one. That's the spec. Oh yeah, this one's obviously, it's broken, so. Yeah, it'll check be, it. It'll be all well. <laughs> oh, just, yeah, open circuit. Yep. It'll basically be like having your leads like this right now. Yeah, yep, for sure, whatever. This is exactly what it was. Just had them sitting in there like that. Um, you will notice too, you can go um, it'll go one way, not the other. So try, try make both. Sure try both. It does show inside there if you can see. There's a negative yeah, and wow, a positive. Shit. So if you put your ground on the positive, that's what's going to give you the reading. Sorry, I'm moving around all over the place. Three point seven. So this is the hole that that sensor goes into. Um, it was a real pain getting it out because it just gets so rusty, right? Um, I'm sure there's a lot of places that don't see this much rust, but in Canada it's awful. So you gotta clean that up before we can put the new sensor in. Um, this stabilizer link could come out of the way in order to get a tool in there, or if you had some sort of extension to get in from the back. I'm just gonna use uh, this spoon pick thing to try to clean it up the best I can here just to get most of the rust off. Okay, so we got our sensor in here now. Just gotta start the bolt. I had to clean that hole out quite a bit just to get it started. To get the sensor in there, I mean, but. I 
if I can get the bolt to start. Just like that. And then we just got our router harness down and around. I think what I'm actually going to do is just spray some silicone spray in there. And that's really going to help the weather seal inside of the connector. So we got the, the sensor in there. We got our connector. There's a rubber seal that's on the inside of this connector to make it weather packed. So I just sprayed it with a little bit of silicone spray. And that just helps it slide on. And then that red lock just needs to snap into place there. And that keeps it from coming off. So that's all good. Now I'm just gonna go back and uh, erase the fault codes, double check the work, make sure that's okay. And then obviously put the brakes back together, put the wheel on, and then I'm gonna run it in the air and graph all the sensors and make sure everything looks good. There we go, that signals now. They both look different because they're going at different speeds. But as you can see, the left rear wheel speed sensor is now, we got data, so we know it's working. Before it was just flat. The front ones, it's not in four wheel drive, so it's just driving the rear wheels. That's why the front ones are flat line. That's it. We fixed her.